Welcome back to Techno Surgeon YouTube channel. So today we are having the news regarding RTX 4070Ti. First of all, and RTX 4070Ti, we all know like RTX 4070Ti is the 12GB variant of RTX 4080, which NVIDIA has scrapped as of now. But they are going to make it as 4070Ti, and the other way GeForce RTX 4070Ti Aero has been pictured, and it comes with three cooler fan, fan design. And it looks awesome like this off white color. It looks awesome in the visible, it will look gorgeous. And yeah, we know the specs for RTX 4070 Ti, like it's similar to 4080. Uh, so yeah, and cards are now available to reviewers and sh should be shipping to retailers uh, as we speak. So it comes from video cards itself. So yeah, pretty nice. And it has two 8 pin to single 16 pin connectors. So basically, everybody is going all in with that 16 pin connector, which has issue with RTX 4090. It is melting, melting as of now, but yeah, they are going all the way for RTX 40 series for that 16 pin connector. So yeah, and judging by the performance, it shouldn't be as high price as that of RTX 4080 12GB variant, like 899. That is not that good of a price point. But let's just hope NVIDIA does price it competitively. Moving on, we have news regarding AMD and RX 7900, which series like AMD has officially released a software, Adrenaline Edition 2212.2 for AMD Radeon. This weekly driver is exclusive for RX 7900 series, and they are, they are there for some major releases because uh, we know like RT. RX7, RX7900 says has some issues with power draw and stuff and this weekly driver does it like RX7000 series when consuming YouTube video at Windows desktop mode at 4K it takes significantly higher level of power so this weekly driver is used for the improvement to power searches during hardware accelerated video playback and for the power efficiency improvements are planned so basically, NVIDIA knows the issues that's going on with this RX 7900 series. And they had also like a system crash, maybe observe when display, when changing display mode with full display configuration and multi display support along with it. It has like nice motor list, apps, uh, an app crash or travel time mode may occur after enabling the rate system. They had fixed it, which is a nice thing to say. Like AMD is implementing things. For their new RX 7900 series, so yeah, pretty nice. Looking forward to it, but it's nice and more improvements to RX 7900 series is coming very soon. So yeah, pretty nice overall. AMD is doing great in this scenario. Moving on, we have news regarding Ryzen 7000 series and the pricing for it, like we know, 7900 series for Ryzen was not yet at way high price but it was going down in pricing during sales and stuff but Ryzen 5 7600X and Ryzen 9 7950X has will reach its lowest point as of now so yeah pretty nice like if you want that high end content creation gaming chipset like Ryzen 9 7950X 16 core 32 thread is close to is now 568.99 which is way less like it's 130 bucks off compared to its launch price of 800 so pretty nice if you want to buy this high end of a desktop gpu cpu not gpu but cpu but given the fact like am5 platform is way expensive it just mitigates that risk but 568 bucks for ryzen 9 7950 x pretty nice so yeah it's pretty good like amd is going down in pricing for this cheap cpus Maybe there are new CPUs coming down the line, and we know that they are going to come very soon. We just need to wait and see what the, these new CPUs are. But you know, judging from the fact like AM5 platform requires everything new, like AM5 socket, DDR5, it was expensive, but if the price of CPUs goes up, you can be able to justify it just for the same some time. But yeah, moving on, we have news regarding Kaizen 7000 series, non experience, and we know the pricing. and now we have the performance for it and we have performance for each and every one of them Ryzen 5 7600, Ryzen 7 7700 and Ryzen 9 7900 and now 
yeah why don't we try that straight into it and it comes from peakbench so yeah it's pretty nice to see this bench distributes this cpu has been benchmarked and you know like non experience if you can overclock it you can get the same performance as that of the x counterparts so if you can't afford x series even though they are going down in pricing you can just buy this non experience and overclock it to its end height so that you can match the performance of x series well, uh, yeah. so, so first of all, all it is Ryzen and 7900 and it comes with a single core of score of 2121 and and it's pretty awesome like Ryzen and 7900 it's a 12 core 24 thread variant and when it compared it with Ryzen and 7950X Ryzen and 7900X it uh, it has a single score score of 2121 but the multi core score is 1867 and when you compare it to Ryzen and 7900X it has 1900 some scores for 1905 score but we also have an overclock variant and in that overclock Ryzen and 7900X you can get a multiple score of 1904 which is higher than that of Ryzen and 7900X in stock moving on we have Ryzen 7 7700 8 core 16 thread variant which has a single core score of 2074 and multiple score of 1406 61 which is a nice thing and the multiple score is uh, on par with that of Ryzen 7 7700X so we are pretty impressive in that segment along with it we have like almost 96% of the performance from each and every CPUs while we have 7600 6412 third variant uh, is has a single core score of 2012 a multi score of 1113 11,326 which is on par with Ryzen 5 7600X so basically these CPUs are clearly on par a little bit lower, uh, lower than that of their counterparts along with it let's just hope that the price CPUs perfectly and not expensive as that of Ryzen 7000X series so yeah let's just hope fingers crossed moving on we have using an RDNA 4 R or as we can say RX 8000 series 18900 XT XTX and it comes from Red Gaming Tech as we know we already discussed about RTX 50 series but now we know some details regarding RX 70 and RX 18900 series and it it is just a performance target and stuff related to it but it's going to be what they are playing and hoping for with 8000 series so why don't we just drag straight Right straight into it. So RDNA 4, we know it will have like 50% performance uplift compared to RDNA 3, and they are planning for it. But according to this, it it will be the performance level for next year is going to be higher than what we expected. As the story says, it comes with 100 RDNA 4, Navi 41 comes with 144 compute units. So it's technically 50% higher compared to previous generation and you know, Ariel Navi 41 consists of 8900 XTX TX. So, yeah, it comes with 144480 computer units, 18432 stream processors. So, yeah, it's pretty high, and the performance target is twice. So, basically, you're getting 50% increase in the power count, and you're going to get twice the performance. And this number is very early, so and the total number of GCX could change, but it is what they are listing right now so it's in the early testing phase and it will have 50 percent increase in the alu but the performance target is two times the current chain going on nav 42 and nav 43 also has the same performance uplift and nav 41 will come with 32 gb of the ddr ddr gddr7 memory so not gddr6 and it will, it will have a 24 gb variant and a 40 gb gddr6 gddr7 variant so yeah Navi 42 will come with 96 CUs, computer units, and now Navi 43 will come with 48 CUs. So, overall, you are getting 50% increase in core count, and their performance target is two times with energy efficiency. So, yeah, pretty nice. Navi 42, 12,288 core count, and two times increase compared to its predecessor. And our trade is significant gains, but there are no significant 
ठीक है इसमें गाड़ी में सो ओवरऑल एएमडी है इस में प्रीटी हाई होप्स फॉर एट हाउस सीरीज एंड आरडी ने फोर सो दैट्स इट फॉर मी टुडे व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट द न्यूज़ साउंड ऑफ योर थॉट्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो लाइक एंड शेयर मोर टेक्नोलॉजी न्यूज़ सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल आई एंड आई विल मीट यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन पीस आउट लेट्स जस्ट ऑफ दिस न्यूज़ इफ यू नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इज नॉट दैट एक्सपेंसिव